Today, I'm going to show how I've gained 81.55% has my side income through option trading. Three, two, one. Hello everyone, my name is Candice. Welcome to the Gen Y Hook channel where we help you to elevate your financial wellness. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I've gained close to 82% through a single trade option. And more importantly, I'm going to have an exclusive walkthrough on how to calculate options profits so that you have an idea on what is called returns on investment or what we call as ROI. Okay, and the main, main key takeaway from this video is this calculator that I have developed. I have also shared this calculator in the YouTube description link below. Feel free to click on the link and then save it in your browser. So for this example, I have already entered all the key values, which is the strike price, the open date, the close date, the premium collected, as well as the potential amount that I need to set aside should the options being assigned to me. And you can see the analyzed return, which is 81.55%, which is close to 82%. And subsequently in this video, you can see that I will be walking you through an real example using my IBKR. Okay, so in this section, I'm going to share you one single sell put option using my real IBKR account and how to get about close to 80% of the analyzed returns. So first thing first, how do you know whether is it a sell put option? Under type, you can see the word sell. And then under symbol, you can see the strike price, which is after the strike price, you can see the letter P. So P stands for put. And I have sell these options on the 18th of July this year with an expiry less than 14 days or in exact number of days will be 10 days, which is on the 28th of July this year. And with a strike price of $36.50. So the premium collected will be $79 excluding commissions. So with the commission included, which is about $0.80, cent, you will then get about $78.20. Okay, so in this section, I'm going to share with you this calculator, which I also share in this video description below. So feel free to click on this link and try some of the returns that you have in mind. So for this trade itself, the strike price, which is $36.50, and the open date, which is the trade date itself, which is 18th of July this year, And then the closing date, which is on the 28th of July this month. So you can see within 10 working days, the premium that I'm going to collect and the analyzed returns that I'm going to get. So the premium collected would be $79 minus 80 cents, which is about $78.20. So within 10 days you can get a return of 78 percent and days of holding period and the amount that you will need to set aside potentially is about 3500 but whether you get assigned or whether you get away with this premium being collected you will then know this coming friday so stay tuned for our video and there must be three whys in your mind firstly why do i need to do this Secondly, why do I need to calculate analyzed returns? Lastly, why do I need to sell a sell put option? Okay, so why am I doing this? I would like to generate side income for myself. For that one single sell put option, I will have generated $78 profits. With the 10 options that I'm buying, I would then generate $780. With that amount of money, I would be able to use this amount of money to spend on other things such as paying utility. Okay, and so analyze returns articulates the equations and ultimately you want your percentage to be positive and not only that, you want it to be as high as possible just like everyone else do. Hello, so this is the final question, which is why do I need to do a sell put options? Sell put options in general 
allows me to generate immediate portfolio income to the seller, which I did a sell put option trade. And with that, I collected a premium or the profits that I gained, which is about $78. Hello. So here comes the calculation part. I've removed all the inputs that I've entered earlier. And then I'm just thinking whether the analyzed return will be above 100% or there is a maximum threshold, which is 100%. What do you think? If you do have an answer, just comment in the YouTube video below and share with everyone like myself and others. I've extracted an option trade below, which you then can actually input the details so that you will get an idea. I sell put these options on the 30th May 2023 with a strike price of $262.50 and the expiry was 2nd June 2023. So this stock is about MongoDB and I purchased two options trades, which means that should I be assigned in this stock, I would then receive 200 stocks of MongoDB. So, and then the premium that I collected is a total amount of $1,304. That is excluding commission. And if the commission is about $1 plus, I would then get about USD 1.3K. And whether is it worth it or not, you can see that the holding period is less than 5 days. What do you think? Okay, so here comes the final section of this video. In this section itself, I will explain the various parts of what it constitute a trade options. So in this sticker symbol, you can see there are four main components. The first component is the stock um, that you're purchasing. So for instance, this is the AI stock that I purchased, followed by the expiration date, which was 14 July. And then the strike price, which is $35.50. And then P stands for put. And earlier example, I also show you that I did a sell put. And for this trader options, this is also a sell put options. So it then uh, what happened is that you can see the options quantity that I purchased is one. And is there any proceed comms, etc. This screen itself illustrates the day that it actually expires, it actually turned into a realization profits. So under the realized PL, you can see that there, there are two numbers. Um, the first number is in US dollar, which is about $66.96. And then when it converted to Sing dollar, which is about $88.51. So given this um, traded options, you can see that this code behind C stands for close, and then EP actually stands for expire. So if you are not that familiar, you can actually hover down and then there's this glossary or the taxonomy that you can actually look through. So see, you can see it's closing trade. And then for my case, it's EP, so it's resulted from an expired positions. So what it means, the seller, where I actually have an obligation to buy the stocks. However, on the expiration date on 14 June, then I collected the premium and thus the options worthless. So that's the end and if you want to stay tuned for the upcoming expiration date which is 28th of July, stay tuned for the next video. Bye bye!